to move on to President Trump now. He is facing new fallout over those anti-Muslim videos he retweeted from an extremist group in England. The British Prime Minister condemned the move. The President attacked back. And our Chief White House Correspondent John Carl here with the details. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. The videos and the group that tweeted them have been condemned as hateful and insightful to violence. But the White House insists the President was simply raising the issue of national security. The three videos the president retweeted were originally posted by a tiny anti-Islam ultra-nationalist party called Britain First, a group known for hate-filled incitement. They purport to show Muslims engaged in violent acts. The office of British Prime Minister Theresa May condemned the president for his tweets, saying Britain First seeks to divide communities through their use of hateful narratives which peddle lies and stoke tensions. It is wrong for the president to have done this. The president that responded to May last night saying, don't focus on me, focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that is taking place within the United Kingdom. We are doing just fine. And White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders also responded to the president's tweets. It's important to talk about national security and national security threats. One of the videos claims to show a Muslim migrant in the Netherlands beating a Dutch boy. But tonight, the embassy of the Netherlands says that's not true. They say the attacker was actually Dutch, tweeting, facts do matter. Still, the White House says it doesn't matter if the videos the president tweets are accurate. Look, again, the whether it's, it's a real video, the threat is real, and that is what the president is talking about. And this morning, there's an extraordinary statement from the mayor of London on all of this, saying in part, George, President Trump yesterday used Twitter to promote a vile extremist group that exists solely to sow division and hatred in our country. Many Brits who love America and Americans will see this as a betrayal of the special relationship between our two countries. And George, the mayor of London is calling on the prime minister of Great Britain to revoke her invitation to Donald Trump to visit. So we're seeing the follow right there. And, and yesterday, it was an especially active day for the president on Twitter, increasingly outlandish tweets, even dipping into conspiracy theories. Oh, he was all over the map. There was this, there were conspiracy theories. He was calling for a boycott of CNN. All, George, at a time when the White House is trying to focus on tax reform. They also, though, have Robert Mueller out there, and we just learned that Jared Kushner has been called in. Uh, yes, this, this was a, an interview with the special counsel and, and Jared Kushner that happened earlier this month. We're told it's primarily about Michael Flynn and that Trump Tower meeting where they were meeting with Russians about dirt on Hillary Clinton. May not be his last interview. John Carl, thanks very much.